Hello everyone, this is uh, my new pickup winder. Uh, confusing looking contraption, but uh, pretty functional. Uh, I'll just start with a little bit of a tour of it and then I'll uh, show you uh, everything uh, running. Uh, it starts off obviously with the bobbin faceplate here. Uh, these brass rods here are the wire uh, uh, guide uh, and the wire is fed through these uh, plexiglass uh, pieces here uh, onto the bobbin. Uh, I don't have the tensioner on this uh, winder yet. Um, the uh, back of the device here has a 1 20th of a horsepower motor and uh, it's uh, feeding various pulleys. Uh, the motor is a 1500 RPM motor uh, and there is uh, one pulley which drives the faceplate at one to one uh, and then a series of uh, pulleys here which slow down the traverse. There is uh, several uh, channels made on each pulley um, here which allow me to adjust the turns per layer on the bobbin uh, starting uh, down as low as 20 going up as high as uh, just under a hundred turns per layer. Um, and basically you can see all the belts here moving everything as this pulley moves the cam disc uh, underneath uh, the wire guide moves so as I rotate the uh, guide you can see the wire guide move back and forth uh, it'll be demonstrated a lot more as the machine is turned on uh, the machine is just powered by a, base, a very basic variac uh, so let's turn it on and uh, I'll start the uh, voltage up slowly so you can see it uh, rotate here. And I'll turn on just a second. So that's spinning uh, quite slow right now, speeding up quick. And we'll get that up to maximum speed. Uh, what you can see immediately is the machine is quite quiet. Uh, all the pulleys running in the background here, uh, spinning uh, to get the correct rate. And here you can see the wire guide moving back and forth uh, where the bobbin will sit. This will have a quick interchange uh, bobbin on it. Uh, and uh, what's really neat about this winder is uh, that I can, uh, right now it's throwing the wire maximum distance, ed edge to edge on the bobbin. Um, if the, uh, because this is only a circular cam, uh, not a heart shaped cam, uh, you can end up with areas of the bobbin that have more uh, air, more wire on them than others, so the ends would fill up. Well, if that happens, all I have to do is use this lever here, and what it does is shorten the cam travel distance and fills the center of the bobbin, uh, so now the throw is a lot less. So right now you can see it's, it's a small amount. When I pull the lever, it's a much larger amount. Uh, this is a, a really easy way to fill the bobbin and it gets a really good sound uh, to the pickup as well. Uh, and the nice thing is, is I can stop at any time and swap the O-rings uh, and change the turns per layer. Uh, so if I want to do uh, experiments where I can test, uh, okay, what does this pickup sound like with a, a hundred turns per layer at the very inside and uh, 12 turns per layer on the outside of the bobbin I can do that. Uh, I can also do the reverse, you know, very fine uh, uh, on the outside and very coarse on the inside. Uh, you can see the mechanism here spinning and rotating. Uh, as I pull the lever, everything is adjusted. Uh, this took probably two solid months of, to build and a lot of, uh, a lot of lathe work. Uh, let's just say I'm very sick of lathing. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed my pickup winder. Thanks.